Hello viewers and welcome back to Portal 2 and in today's episode I do believe we're going to be bouncing off walls and let's go ahead and go right into it. Oh yep, yeah, definitely bouncing off walls. Oh come on, let's go. Let's make it. Come on. Come on. There we go. I made it. <laughs> oh, oh, I almost let it fall too. Holy crap. That wouldn't have been good. But then again, there's a... Uh, Okay, so what do I gotta do here? Oh, okay, well, pff, I mean, what is this for? Like, is it just like, huh? Okay, I'm gonna find out where it leads. Oh, okay. No, I'm just gonna, oh, yep, this is the puzzle. I shot hard. I was gonna finish uh, the last episode uh, going into a new puzzle, but apparently I just, Oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. But yeah, what I was going to say was, I thought I had finished that puzzle in the last episode, because I like ending an episode on, like, a finished puzzle or whatever, but apparently that was only part of the puzzle. Oh well, it's whatever. Oh yeah. All these science fears are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator and makes a happy face. <laughs> okay, maybe I was a little bit harsh on this guy in the last episode. He is a little bit funny, but I do miss GLaDOS and, and uh, uh, Wheatley. They were my homies. They were my, my love, my life, my, my, my happiness on the sad days, they were my everything. Okay, I'll also shut up, Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and figure out where I gotta go now, and... Oh, balls. So I bet you it's probably just something, like, up there somewhere, dude. Oh, oh, I think I even seen it, too. As soon as I freaking fell in the water, I, like, ugh. Austin. Oh, come on now. Oh, look at there. Guess I found it. I just gotta find out. Oh, there it is, right there. I want to do more puzzles. I don't want to do all this like your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. Bean counter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. They are. Oh. Oh. Can I just get a splash over me? The goop juice is all. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. This is gonna suck. I know what it wants me to do, it wants me to, uh... Uh, what do me to do? Balls. Can I catch it? No, I can't catch it. That's a no-go. Um... I'll just put it right here, I guess. Oh, hey! Oh, come on now. Wait, what is over here? Okay, 
can just, just giant fall as it. Please, please, please. Heads up, that coffee oh, we gave you earlier God. had fluorescent calcium in it so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. There's a slight chance the cal- Okay, I see, I'm pretty curious, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't think I've mastered the freaking thing, but hey. Calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualize the scenario while actually triggers the reaction. Now, if you're part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip of about the size of a postcard in your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. <laughs> now... I don't know what that does. I'm pretty sure it's gonna eventually raise up ahead. What does it do? Oh, does it clean up the goop? Oh, I think I'm. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, my head. Oh, my brain. Okay, um. to do commentary over this because I'm sitting here trying to think and I can't talk and think at the same time. It's just so hard. <laughs> so. Well, of course that's what I had to do. It was that simple. Of course, I overthought it. Of I'm course. telling them, keep your pants on. All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time entirely, forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. Is that why we can never look at ourselves in the portal? Because it. it is that really like a thing? Oh my god, balls, I gotta figure this out. Oh, okay, this is easy enough. Easy enough. Wait a minute, maybe not. Ow! Okay, um. Up, up. Oh no, I, I gotta figure this out. Ah, come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Oh. This sucks. Okay, um. I'm just trying to do this. Oh, they're so mean, dude. Oh my god. So just do this, and then you're good. And then, do something smart for once, and just do a hoop sheet like that. Do that. Oh, and you freaking miss a jump. That is crap. I can't even. Okay. Oh, that's so that's so trippy, dude. Okay, what, what was I doing? Um. Okay. Let's go ahead and oh, go ahead and do this. Okay. Ah, there we go. Now, let's see what this is. Accidents hurt. You will be hurt. Coworkers don't endanger others. The company replacements are costly. Science. Investigations impede progress. So, uh, what we were doing uh, is what they were doing. Like, it must have been like really illegal because, because he he mentioned earlier about how it could affect time and space. Ooh, we're getting in deep here, guys. Oh. I'm getting in real deep. Now I just gotta figure out how to get out of this deep area and go fight Wheatley. Okay, I just thought of something. What if I use this goop juice right over here? And it's already in a nice spot. I'll go ahead and spread around more places so that way I can do more forming. Ah, uh, yep, yep, it's gotta be it, dude. There's no way that can't be it. That's freaking it. Come on, please work. Oh, you are a. I went way too fast, apparently. Dang it, dude. Why do you gotta do it like that? Come on now. There you go. Jeez, please. Now, will you please just. No. Let me do all my life because I want to do. If some you're hearing this, it means cool you're taking puzzles. a long time on the catwalks between tests. The lab boys say that might be a fear reaction. I'm no psychiatrist, but coming from a bunch of eggheads who wouldn't recognize the thrill of danger if it walked up and snapped their little pink bras, that sounds like projection. They didn't fly into space, storm a beach, or bring back the gold. No, sir, we did. You and me against the world, son. I like your grit. Hustle could use the work, though. Now let's solve this thing. It's really confusing me because I don't know what to do. But I will admit that it's freaking cool as anything. It just I don't think it's gonna be that helpful to me. Oh God! Oh Austin, what are you doing? You're mixing the goop. Don't mix the goop. <laughs> Oh, that breaks up. Oh, that is cool. That is clever, dude. Wait, where'd the box go? Oh, it's about to go over the place. That explains it. Eh. Oh, that is cool, dude. It's, okay, that's probably a bad idea. I need to catch it now. Oh, balls. Oh, uh, oh no. I could just use the... The, uh... The clean goop juice to rinse it off, but I think I... I kinda have to, don't I? Yeah, I have to. Darn it. 
I thought it was cool watching bots around, but whatever. Uh, now I just gotta set you right here. And then I can put some goo juice right here. And then I can hop on out of here. Oh, I think. Come on, hit the freaking... I know what it wants me to do. There we go. We're science all isn't about why, it's about why not. Why is so much of our science dangerous? Why not marry safe science if you love it so much? In fact, why not invent a special safety door that won't hit you on the butt on the way out because you are fired. Now you test subjects, you're doing fine. Yes, you. Box your stuff. Out the front door. Parking lot. Car. Goodbye. Yep. Okay, guys, I'll tell you what. I'm going to do one more puzzle, and then I will go ahead and end the episode after I finish that. Go ahead and see what... Oh, God. Congratulations. The simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. She is a gem. So what I just realized is, I think I, that was the last puzzle. Let's go a little bit farther and we'll see what is... What's what? And... Oh, okay. Gotta go over there. Let's go ahead and see what this has to offer me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Red goop. I got a bad feeling about that. <laughs> I gotta do this and then this. Hide it. There we go. Oh. Or not. Oh no. Okay, I should have orange one. When I get a chance. Oh, 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 oh. Oh! God dang it, Austin, quit being freaking inaccurate. There we go. Freaking A. What is with all these freaking puzzles? Freaking locking me out of things and. Oh no. Austin, what do you do? Is it gonna pop? It's gonna freaking pop. I put the wrong lever. Good job, Austin. Good job. Gotta run, gotta run, gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. I got a bad feeling about that. Oh no. I think I broke a thing. <laughs> good job, Austin, good job. Greetings, friend. I'm Cave Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you've most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt... Sir, the testing? Right. Now you might be asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make $60? Cash. You can also feel free to relax for up to 20 minutes in the waiting room, which is a damn sight more comfortable than the park benches most of you were sleeping on when we found you. So, welcome to Aperture. You're here because we want the best, and you're it. 
No, couldn't keep a straight face. Anyway, don't smudge up the glass down there. In fact, why don't you just go ahead and not touch anything unless it's test related. But all right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here because this episode's been going on for a little while. Before I do that, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this, this little bit right, out right here, and then we'll go ahead and end it. Oh, or not? Or we can just fail. But yeah, <laughs> we'll figure out this puzzle whenever we start the next episode. But yeah, until then, hopefully, I will see you all in the next video.